harbors two great carnivores. One is a 4,000 pound torpedo tipped with prehistoric ice picks. The other is a fearless colossus with club-like paws and the strength to drag almost twice its own body weight. Let's look at what each brings to the fight. A shellfish-eating marine mammal, the walrus seems an unlikely face-off contender. But at 14 feet long and weighing 4,000 pounds, it has the power of a runaway truck. The walrus has two lethal weapons, a pair of prehistoric tusks that can grow up to 4 feet long. Made of solid ivory, each tusk weighs up to 15 pounds. They help fight off predators or establish dominance over rivals. The walrus's defense system is built around its thick, two to three inch high, and four inches of blubber. The scars and scratches show the heavy duty tusking it takes from other males as they compete for space and mating rights. But the other contender in this face off is no pushover. The largest carnivore on land, the polar bear weighs up to 1,500 pounds and stands 12 feet tall upright. That's as tall as an elephant. It has a fearsome armory, including dagger-like three-inch canines and razor-sharp carnassial teeth. These can rip with ease through the skin, flesh, and blubber of its most common prey, the ring seal. The polar bear relies on two inches of fur and four and a half inches of blubber to protect its body, but its skin is unarmored. In a face-off, it might be vulnerable to the walrus's deadly ice picks. Our virtual rock... In the Arctic Circle, a walrus is relaxing in an ice where he can rest his body for a minute. Nearby, a polar bear is smelling prey and goes to hunt for walruses. The scene is set for an encounter between two of the Arctic's most dangerous predators. <laughs> How did the walrus win this face-off? The polar bear was going after large prey like a walrus, but the walrus sees behind him that there was a polar bear trying to attack him. The polar bear gets his claws out and scratches the walrus and uses its teeth to grip into the walrus's skin. But the walrus and the polar bear both go into the water. They both fought there for one reason. The walrus gets the polar bear off his back. And then he stabs the polar bear with his tusks. Next, the polar bear runs away and runs out of air.
polar bear hangs on to the ice thing. And, but the walrus wasn't finished. So he stabs the polar bear in the back. And that way, the polar bear dies. And drowns to death. That makes the walrus the greatest creature on earth to survive from polar bear predators. Next time, we'll head to the winter jungles of Siberia, the winter forest of Siberia it is when a Siberian tiger and a brown bear go head to head.